You're about to learn how to create viral video transitions using Nano Banana and Clean 2.1, just like this. Well, this studio's cooked. So to create viral transitions, we're going to be using Nano Banana to create our scenes, Cling 2.1 to animate between them, and then Eleven Labs to help bring it all together with music and sound effects. So you'll notice here in Premiere Pro, I've got two clips and you can create these viral transitions using AI between any clips you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the same clip. So I create a viral seamless looping transition, which we see a lot on TikTok and Instagram. And now on the left here, we're going to call it clip A. And then on the right, we're going to call it clip B. And in the middle is where we're going to create the viral transition. So to do this, the very first thing is we're going to select the last frame of clip A. And I'm just going to click this little icon and then click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and select the first frame of clip B and then do the same thing. Now we've got both the end frame to clip A and the start frame to clip B. We're going to create scenes using Nano Banana that we're going to see between our transitions. And you can create as many of these as you want because we're essentially going to be creating scenes and placing them in here. And so we can create as many different images as we want using Nano Banana. And then between each scene, we're going to use Kling's start to end frame animation and bring it all together. Now to edit the images, we're going to do it using Nano Banana within FreePick. And what I'm going to do is click add here and we're going to upload the end frame to clip A. And then for the prompt here, I'm imagining the camera panning out to reveal that the YouTube set is actually within a larger big studio or on a game show. And that's what I'm going to describe. And remember here, we're describing the scene that we want to see later. We're not describing the animation or the movement. So I paste my prompt and then I click generate. And with FreePick, I like to click generate multiple times just so I get a few different examples to choose from without having to wait for one to finish before generating the next. And so as you can see here, I've got three different images to choose from. And sometimes it takes a little bit of prompting. You need to be really specific with what you're going for. And so if there's something that's a little off, so like this one, I think the size is a little off between the top half my body and the legs, you might want to add something like realistic human scale to your prompt. So be as descriptive as possible to get the result that you're looking for. And then once you've found the image you're looking for, all you want to do is go ahead and click on upscale. And then we're just going to click upscale right here with these settings, simply click upscale. And now we have the first scene that we're going to transition to. And now before we create the animation between the two frames, we're going to create another scene because I want this to be a long transition that flows between multiple different scenes that we make with Nano Banana. And so to create the next scene, this time I'm simply going to drag the image that we've just created and drop it as the image reference. And this time for the prompt, because I want it to feel seamless and flow naturally, we've got an old vintage television placed in the middle of the dense forest and on the TV screen, we want to display the image that we've just created. And the great thing with Nano Banana is you can actually mention specific images that you upload. And so here I mentioned that I want to display the image one, which is the image that we've just pulled in from Nano Banana. And so now if I click generate, we can see that I've got the image on the TV within the setting that I described in my prompt. And so I really like this one and I'm gonna go ahead and click upscale and click upscale again. And once that's done, I'm going to download it. And now we can head to Kling to animate the scenes between these frames. And so now in Kling to create the viral animated transitions that feel seamless, we want to go ahead and use the AI video generator. And we're going to use the start to end frame tool. And so as the start frame, we want to upload the last frame to clip A, which is the frame from the original video. And then for the end frame, we're going to go ahead and upload the first scene that we created with Nano Banana, which is the zoomed out version of the set. And below in the box here, I'm simply going to describe what I want to happen. And so here, the animation that I imagine going between the two scenes is simply the camera panning backwards. And again, I try and be as descriptive as possible. And so I put in my prompt here. I want to leave it at five seconds and I click generate. And so this is the result I get which looks pretty good. And so I'm gonna go ahead and download that without a watermark. And now I'm gonna generate the next scene. So here I'm going to remove the start and the end frame, delete the prompt. And this time the start frame is gonna be the first image we created in Nano Banana. And now as the end frame, it's going to be the second image we created, which is the TV set in the forest. 
And then for the prompt, again, I describe it and be as descriptive as possible. And here I imagine the camera still panning backwards, except this time to reveal that it's actually a game show on the TV within a random scene in the middle of the forest. Again, I paste my prompt, click generate. And while that generates, we're gonna to head to VO3 to spice up this transition a little bit. And so here, I want to add a little talking element to the transition. So, you know, there's a little bit of like a, a story to it. What I'm going to do is go to VO3 within Google Labs, and then I'm going to select frames to video, and I'm going to upload the frame, which is the TV presenter standing next to the TV in the forest. So I click plus and then upload. And so I open this image, click crop and save. And then here for the prompt, I'm simply going to put man with a microphone says impressed yet. Well, check this out because I'm going to then show another transition after that. And you'll, you'll understand in just a bit. So I'm going to send this off to generate and we're going to head back to cling while we wait. And so this is the result we have in cling. And so the video has finished generating a cling and we're also going to go ahead and download it. And now I'm going to go and start compiling this in Premiere Pro. So we want to fill out these blank gaps. And so I'm gonna move this clip over to the right and then I'm gonna drag in the first transition clip that we made within cling, place it right here. And now, as you can see, it seamlessly flows into this new transition. And then once we get to this point, we now drag in the second transition clip that we've just made in cling. And again, I just paste that up right here and it flows again as well. And so now we've got this really cool transition that kind of just continuously zooms out and you could literally just keep on going forever. And now here we're gonna get a little bit more creative with the scene because I want this man on the right to say something. And to do that, we used VO3. And so let's go and check on our generation. Impressed yet? We'll check this out. Perfect. So now I'm going to download this and we're gonna download the upscaled version. And then we take that VO3 clip and we put it into our transition and now check this out impressed yet we'll check this out and after he says check this out i want something to happen pretty quickly after he said it to speed up the pacing of the transition and so instead of using the last frame of this clip i'm going to go ahead and actually cut it right about here and then i'm simply going to export this frame and then we're going to create a seamless transition between this frame and the clip B start frame. And so we're going to close the loop for the entire viral transition. And now if you did something like this within VO3, I want to show you a couple of quick ways that you could customize it. And first of all, if with your VO3 generation, the gap that you get at the beginning before they start talking is a little bit too long, you can either try regenerating or you can actually just crop the beginning off and then use this as the frame in your cling start to end frame animation. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not gonna do it. But what I am going to do is I would like to change the voice of the character so it sounds a little bit more like a nature documentary because in VO3, the voices often sound too similar and I like, you know, spicing things up a little bit. And so here, I'm simply going to export this section as an audio file. And so I go ahead, go to more presets, and we're just gonna look for a WAV file, select it, click OK, and then click Export. And in Eleven Labs, I'm going to click on the Voice Changer and then upload the audio that we've just exported and click Open. And I've already selected a voice that I want to swap it to, but you can go ahead and choose a bunch of different voices that would fit the transition that you're creating better, or you could literally go to Voices and create new voices with Voice Design V3, but I'm just simply gonna generate speech and let's take a listen to how it sounds. Impressed yet? We'll check this out. As you can see, we now have a different voice, but the exact same timing and intonation on the words. And so I'm gonna go ahead and download the audio that we've just generated. And then I simply import this back into Premiere Pro and I've synced it up perfectly just like so. And so now if we disable the original audio, let's take a listen. Impressed yet? We'll check this out. Perfect. And now what we need to do is close the loop. And so I've already exported the last frame to this VO3 clip. And so I'm going to go back to Kling 2.1. And what I'm going to do now is upload the last frame to the VO3 clip that we've just exported from Premiere Pro. And then for the end frame, we're going to go ahead and select the start frame to clip B from the beginning so we can close the loop. So I click upload, find the start frame to clip B, click open, and now I describe what I want to happen for it to transition seamlessly between these two. Click generate, and again, sometimes you have to generate a few times to get exactly what you want. The more specific your prompts are, the better, but this is the result we got. 
And we take this last clip and we drag it into our Premiere project. And now we have the entire transition sequence that goes all the way from our original footage and we drag it across. And as you can see, we have this viral seamless transition. And now if we play it back, let's take a watch. Fuel set, bead. Impressed yet? We'll check this out. You're about to learn how to create some viral. As you can see, it's good, but there is one thing missing that is going to make all the difference and that will help us tie it all together. And that is some sound effects and music. And Kling does generate some sound effects, but as you noticed, they're not the best. Fuel set, bead. And so for this, we're going to use 11 Labs. And in 11 Labs, we're going to go ahead and first click on the sound effects generator. And here, I'm simply going to describe everything that I can see and imagine hearing within these scenes. So for example, when we transition from the small YouTube set to the large audience, I would go ahead and describe game show audience. And then I can imagine the whoosh sound of the camera panning backwards. I could go ahead and describe whoosh. And I want to do this for all of the sound effects and sounds I imagine hearing within my transition. And I want to also add another thing. And to do that, we're going to use 11 music, right? And here I actually want to describe the jingle that I can imagine hearing on the game show when we're transitioning outwards because the sound effects and the sound design that we do for this transition is what is going to really help sell it and so here i simply typed out game show jingle from the 90s and then i click generate and so now i can go ahead and preview it Okay, for what I need, this is going to be perfect. And it sounds a little bit too upbeat and tropical and not necessarily like it fits perfectly, but trust me that when you combine this with an audience noise, it will fit just right in. And so if I take this jingle and I bring it in and I'm just going to crop to the part that I need and line it up perfectly with the transition. And then back in sound effects, I can preview the ones I like and quickly just download the ones that I think that will work well for my project. And so I'm just gonna download a few right now. And once I've downloaded all the sound effects and music I need, I just bring them in and line them up in Premiere Pro. And here, as you can see, everything in green is the sound effects that were generated with 11 Labs. I've also got in blue, dark blue here, which is the voice that I swapped out using the 11 Labs voice changer. And then the music that I added with 11 Music. And just remember that if you do generate audio with with your clips in Kling or VO3, you need to make sure that you disable that audio. And with that being said, this is what the final result looks like, just like this. Impressed yet? We'll check this out. You're about to learn how to create some. And so that is how to create viral video transitions using Nano Banana, Clean 2.1, 11 Labs, and also a little bit of VO3. And if you end up using this AI workflow to create some awesome AI music videos, AI films, or AI games, don't hesitate to submit it to the Chroma Awards where you can win over $150,000 in cash. And with that being said, if you have any questions about how to create AI transitions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.